Hey guys, Matt from Laser Everything here today to talk to you about what's the best laser in 2024 to make tumblers all the time. So stick around and find out which one it is. So before we get going too deep on this, a couple of things to think about and consider. If you don't understand Galvo lasers or you're not sure about them and what they are, I would highly recommend that you go check out the Galvo Lasers 101 video in the Galvo for Light Burn Crash Course series that Alex filmed. It's going to explain how these machines work. It's very important that you understand that because they're very different than CO2 gantry machines for sure. Always make sure you do your research when figuring out what's the best laser for you. Whether it's on Facebook, in the LMA, or on our Discord, we're asked about tumbler making lasers and what's the best one to buy. But the answer that we always give, and it's still very true, is it kind of depends on your circumstance, where you are, and your understanding of lasers. We were really just breaking it down to what is the absolute best laser to make tumblers all day long for your business, then the answer is the CO2 Galvo. So let me show you what it's like to actually set this up. So this is my setup. Done. A CO2 Galvo is simply the best because of its speed, its repeatability, how easy it is to set up, the fact that you can run light burn for Galvo now. There is the ability to add rotary to it because most Galvo lasers come rotary ready. It's got a smaller footprint for small spaces. And one of the most important things for most makers is the size and weight compared to a gantry CO2 laser that most people use for their cup making right now. And it's got an RF tube, which is gonna make it very fast and very reliable and easier to run longer periods of time. So what are some of the limitations or the minuses that the CO2 Galvo has? The width limitations when running a cylinder correction. You're limited on the width of your burn on a cup. Another issue is the dot size. So that's something to consider. Another thing is this is an open tower CO2. You can see it behind me. It's kind of scary. It's something that if you're a novice user, you could very easily hurt yourself if you're not paying attention. So open tower versus the enclosed CO2 gantry is something to consider. The other thing is it, full wraps take just as long. So if you're buying this thinking, this is going to make my cups go so much faster. Yes and no. Another minus or problem you might run into is the fact that this is actually way bigger compared to another gavel machine. Basically double the size of a fiber laser. Now that you've decided you want to buy the laser, what are some other things that you need to basically have this set up right behind me? So some of the things that you're going to need when you purchase your CO2 Galvo would be some fence and jigs. For example, the one that I have here is 3D printed. It's made by Jason Reif. He now has those made with anodized aluminum. So those are something I think I picked up for like 50 bucks and they're very good for helping make repeatability and speed a key component, which that's why you buy the laser. So make sure you buy the jigs to make that happen and make it actually possible. On our website, lasereverything.net, we actually have a 3D printable jig that's in the projects folder, the resources. So when you go to free resources on our website, you'll find those. Another thing that you might need to make sure you pick up is a D80 chuck rotary, or you might wanna buy an aftermarket rotary, whether it be a pie burn, or whether it be something from Jason Reif over at Rotoboss. Take a look at those and we'll help you make sure you get the right one. Another thing to make sure you have is a very good exhaust system. You are going to be making a ton of particulate and it's gonna be blasting nowhere except into your face and in the air directly around you or whoever is using that laser. So you really need to make sure that you have an exhaust system that's set up for your own safety as well as the safety of the people in your shop and for the longevity of your machine. The more stuff that you can't send out the exhaust system and ventilation, the more it's gonna cause issues for your machine. So ventilation is so super important. I have an eight inch centrifugal out at the end of my run that pulls air and I also have a four inch inline that helps kind of just keep that moving directly away from the machine so it feeds the eight inch so make sure whatever you do set that up for your own safety the next thing you want to make sure you have are the right lenses for the job you're trying to do so i highly recommend a 110 a 200 and a 300 millimeter lens if you can afford all three if you can't the 200 is a really nice middle of the road for what you're trying to do and i've gotten some really fine detail on some very small items that weren't tumblers. When you think about 200, that's seven and a half inches, something like that. And you're gonna be able to pretty much hit almost any cup except for the 40 ounces where you might need the 300. To me, 200 is a really good middle of the road tool. 300 would be if you're gonna really just like, nope, this is my 40 ounce tumbler machine. I need it to make these things all day long. Finally, another thing is some of these come air-cooled, like the one that I have is an air-cooled unit. Some of them come with a chiller. 
So if you are going to get a water-cooled machine, make sure that you have the right chiller. One of the ones that I have for my CO2 gantry is the CW5200. There's also the light object one, which is way cheaper. And all of those will have links in the description below too. Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything. And I am here to hold your hand on the way out of this episode because Matt is too busy grading papers to film an outro. Obviously, CO2 Galvo is superior for engraving tumblers. We've been telling people that for a long time, and we hope that you've gotten value out of this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button, let everybody else know that the content is good, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we upload a video. If you really love the channel and you want to help support us, head over to masters.lasereverything.net. That's the Laser Master Academy. We've got a ton of great resources over there for you, and it helps fund everything we do here on the channel. If you want to support us in other ways, check out all the options over at lasereverything.net slash support. Anyway, I think that's all we've got for this one, guys. Thank you so much again. One last time for watching. We really appreciate you stopping by, and we will see you in the next one.